determine the natural frequency of given system. If we observe the given question for a simple pendulum which is attached to the two springs, then the mass M is moving towards the right hand side direction. We will draw the free body diagram when the mass M is displaced through an angle theta in clockwise direction. So because of here is the rotational motion is taking place with angular displacement theta, we have to show here the accelerating torque that is getting generated in the same direction. Now how to write this accelerating torque and this torque is equal to I into theta double dot. Here the I is the mass moment of inertia and theta double dot is the angular acceleration. Now we know that here the bob is having mass M. So weight will act in vertically downward direction. So for this displaced mass M we have to show weight that will passing through center and will act in vertically downward direction and that is equal to mg. Now this weight is having two components which are perpendicular to each other. So how to draw these two components? So first component we have to draw with the extension of this thread which will pass through the center of this bob. So I will draw here the extension of this thread and it is passing through the center. Now if we observe here is the straight vertical line and from this vertical line to this inclined line angle is theta. Now the same inclined line is extended and this is also the vertical line. So here also same angle theta is there. So what is the value of this component? So this component is nearby to its angle theta. So its value is mg cos of theta. Now second component is perpendicular to this component. So we will draw here one perpendicular line passing through the center and its value is mg sine of theta. Now we will move to the springs attached to it. Now this pendulum is getting attached with this spring which is having same stiffness that is k. Now this one end of the spring is fixed and other end is attached to the thread of this pendulum. Now there is the spring force that is getting acted. Now which is, what is the direction of the spring force or we can also say the storing force. Now if we observe if this pendulum or this thread is moving towards the right hand side direction then this spring is getting stretched and the other spring is getting compressed. So there is the deflection or displacement of this spring so we have to show this. So I will show this with the help of the dotted line. So for the lower spring I will show this deflection as a delta 1 and for this upper spring I will show it as a delta 2. Now this spring force will act in the opposite direction of the displacement. So for this suppose we will consider this is the spring number 1 and this is the spring number 2. So how to show this spring force or we can say the storing force. So displacement is towards the right hand side direction. So I will show this wrist storing force of the spring in the opposite direction that is towards the left hand side direction and here is this is fs1 that is the restoring force of spring 1 and fs2 i will show here that is towards the left hand side and this is fs2 so from this diagram we come to know that the bob is having displacement towards right hand side direction and the spring force is having the direction towards the left hand side direction. Now we have to write the restoring force by springs in terms of this displacement delta 1 and delta 2. So how to write it? So this spring force is nothing but the stiffness multiplied by this displacement that is k into delta 1 and in bracket we have to show its a direction that is towards the left hand side direction and in the same way for the second spring stiffness is same and that is mentioned in the question so this k into delta 2 
and here direction is towards the left hand side direction. Now in question this perpendicular or vertical distance of the spring from this fixed point of the pendulum is given. So we have to mention this. So we will write this delta 1 and delta 2 in terms of this vertical distance. So if we observe here is one triangle. So I will give here the notations. That is suppose this is fixed point A. Here is point B and this is point C. Now in this triangle A, B, C. How we can write this delta 1 in terms of this vertical line A. So we can write here as a delta 1 is equal to this A into sin theta. Now why we are going to write this delta 1 is equal to A into sin theta because this theta is very small. So when theta is very small then this sin theta is approximately equal to theta. So we can directly write, write delta 1 is equal to A into theta. Now in the same way we will write about this delta 2. So this delta 2 is equal to this vertical distance B into theta. So here delta 1 A into theta and delta 2 B into theta. Now we will put this value in this uh, restoring force that is instead of delta 1 and delta 2 we will put here restoring couples. So when we write restoring couples that is nothing but this restoring force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the fixed point. So here restoring couple we can write here this Fs1 into A. Fs1 into A. And second Fs2 into vertical distance B. Now for this Fs1 and Fs2 is nothing but K delta 1 and K delta 2. So here K delta 1 that means K into A into theta multiplied by A. That is we will write here K A square theta. And here Fs2 that is K into delta 2. But instead of delta 2 we will write B into theta. So we will write K B square into theta. So these are the restoring couples. That is in the simplified form. Because this letters a and b are mentioned in the question but here this deflection delta 1 and delta 2 that is not mentioned in the question so we have to write here delta 1 or delta delta 1 and delta 2 so we have to convert this delta 1 and delta 2 in terms of this vertical distance a and b now we will apply the Newton's second law of motion because here this is the free body diagram. So as per the Newton's second law of motion, this accelerating couple that means accelerating torque is equal to summation of external couple. Now which are the external couples that means we can also say the external forces acting. So if we observe this torque is acting towards the right hand side direction. Now in the opposite direction which are the forces. So here this component mg sin theta is acting towards the left hand side direction. Then this spring force Fs1 is also acting towards the left hand side direction. And this Fs2 is also acting towards the left hand side direction. Now this torque that is I into theta double dot is nothing but accelerating coupled. So to balance this accelerating couple, we have to write all these forces in terms of couple. So how to write? So this is the fixed point about which this bob is oscillating. So we have to write this force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from this fixed point A. So how to write this summation of external couple? That is mg sin theta into this vertical distance. So its a length is mentioned in the question that is capital N. So we will write. Now before writing we have to decide the signs. So this is the clockwise direction. I into theta is having this anticlockwise direction. So for anticlockwise direction we will consider negative sign. Now this mg sin theta into L is in the clockwise direction. So for this clockwise direction we will consider positive sign. So we will write here minus i into theta double dot is equal to mg sin theta into L plus now here this fs1 into A. So if 
we move the compass in the direction of fs1 then it is also in clockwise direction so here also we will use positive sign so fs1 that is nothing but k a square theta so k a square theta that is the couple that i have we have to directly write k a square theta with positive sign and this fs2 so first we will take the compass and move the compass in the direction of fs2 then here is also clockwise direction so we will write here as a plus with positive sign k b square theta now we will simplify this so i will take this minus i theta to the right hand side and which is equal to 0 now again we will simplify this so theta double dot plus now here theta we will take as a common term and here i i will write in the denominator mg l plus k a square plus k b square bracket complete theta divided by i is equal to 0. Now we will write the equation for the uh, free longitudinal vibration. So what is that equation? So we know that this x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0. Now this x double dot is the linear acceleration and here theta double dot is the angular acceleration. Here x is the linear displacement, here theta is the angular displacement. So these two equations are equivalent to each other. So we can write here as a omega n square is equal to mgl plus k a square plus k b square divided by i. And therefore, we can write here the omega n is equal to under root of mgl plus k a square plus k b square divided by i. Now, we have to find out the natural frequency. So, we know that natural frequency fn is equal to omega n by 2 pi. So, we can write here 1 by 2 pi under root of mgl plus k a square plus k b square by i. This i is mass moment of inertia of this box. So we can write this i as a m into l square where m is the mass of this box and l is the length of this thread. So we can write here fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of mgl plus k a square plus k b square divided by m into l square.